I'd often heard of the stories where people get invited to birthday parties or engagement parties, whatever the case may be, and then this happens and everyone's like, oh, Ah, oh, what? what? Now, the, the lady in question's birthday was a 50th birthday and her name's PJ. And so she had a PJ party where everything uh, you went as had to be in the theme of either the letter P or J. So there we are enjoying a wonderful party and it was a great night. And then this rando gets up and grabs the microphone dressed as a panda. And I'm always sus when a panda is on the mic. I don't know How what it is. How often in your ah. lifetime have you seen a panda on the mic? The number of times. Giraffe, you kind of go, oh, yeah, he's going to have a chat. Uh, donkeys, yeah, he's going to be a smart ass. Okay. <laughs> when the panda grabs the mic, anything can happen. And anything did happen. Because what did happen, PJ and her 10-year partner, Mark, did a commitment ceremony. <gasps> and essentially, A surprise wedding. A surprise Are you serious? wedding. And it was, I'd heard about it. You hear about it from time to time when these things happen. And, but I'd never been to one. And being present, you felt very privileged. But what then, if you said no to that party because you had something that you had an engagement on and then you would have missed their entire wedding? Their wedding, yeah. What I loved about it, it was so very authentic and it wasn't for anyone else. It wasn't a wedding as such where it was about, you know, the vows and blah, blah, blah. It was just two people standing in front of 70-odd people just declaring their love for each other. And you've got this very serious-looking officiator who happened to be a panda. I love it!